guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Casey and today I'm gonna be cooking some hamburger stew um, if you've been around my channel for any amount of time you know that that is my absolute favorite meal ever even in the hot summer days I still crave it and want it he's moving my tripod um, so I am gonna cook mine in the Instant Pot today. That will be the first time for me to do that. I normally cook it on the stove, but I wanted to try it in the Instant Pot and it's already 12 o'clock and I'm starving. So let's get into it. So you will need ground beef and corn. I got the gold and white corn by Del Monte. That's my favorite can of beef broth. I got the low sodium or the lower sodium kind, but you don't have to. Tomato paste. And I always get the basil, garlic, and oregano tomatoes, but you can get whatever tomatoes you like or use whatever you have. I choose to get these little pre-packaged potatoes just so I don't have to get a bag of potatoes that may ruin, but use whatever you have. I already have this onion at home, and I normally get a can of Del Monte carrots, but I got baby carrots today to cut up myself because I'm doing it in the Instant Pot, and I didn't want the canned carrots to smush. So in total, this was $13.29, and depending on your portion sizes, this could feed from four to six people. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set my Instant Pot to saute and add the ground beef. This is just a little over a pound. I'm gonna go ahead and get the onion cut up because I'll be adding that to the ground beef while it cooks. Go ahead and add the onions and then I'm going to season the meat. I forgot to mention this McCormick's hamburger seasoning, but it is a absolute must for this recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna use some onion powder. The McCormick's hamburger seasoning, but I'll be adding more after I add the liquid too. Some black pepper. And salt. I use sea salt. And of course you can add all of these to taste after you get everything in the pot too. I'm just gonna get some carrots cut up. I just used half of that small bag of carrots.
cancel the saute function so I can drain this meat. I have a bowl under the strainer to catch the grease. carrots now. Yeah, I grew up eating this with green beans in it. Um, in my entire life, I cooked it with green beans in it. And a few months ago, I cooked it and didn't have any green beans. And I liked it better that way. You can add green beans or I have added llama beans. You can add or take away anything you like for your family's preference. I only use half of the can of the tomato paste. Also, with it being in an instant pot, you don't have to add as much liquid as you would on the stove because the liquid cooks out so fast when you cook it on the stove top. But you do want to make sure there's enough liquid in it for your carrots and potatoes to cook. I'm starting with one can of water and then I'll look at it after I get the potatoes in it. So I'm going to cut these two potatoes up and see if it's going to be enough and then if it's not, I'll cut up the other one. I like mine diced, but you can cut them however you want them for it. You also don't have to peel them if you don't want to. That looks like it's going to be plenty to me. Let's see what it looks like when I get it in here. Definitely enough potatoes. That's also enough water because water doesn't really cook out in an instant pot. I am going to add some more of the McCormick's hamburger seasoning just because I like a lot of mine. And we did drink the meat after we seasoned it, but that is totally preference. You can season it however you want to. And I find that it always needs more salt at the end. Let me give it one more stir. And you're really just trying to get the potatoes and carrots done here because everything else is done. So I'm going to set it to... Make sure this is turned to sealing and I'm going to set it on pressure cook for 20 minutes. I'm going to clean up a little bit and I will be back to show y'all what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I have allowed this to do a natural release for 10 minutes. took almost six minutes to release that pressure. I've never saw it take that long and that kind of scares me.
It smells so good. I can tell the potatoes and carrots are done, but I'm going to check them. Definitely done. This is my favorite bowl to eat it out of. And I serve mine with pickles. I know everybody else in this world eats crackers with their soups, but I don't. The pot is still full. It literally makes so much. You may can even get eight servings out of it. This is mine. I am gonna give it a taste test and make sure that I don't need to add any more salt. But it is way too hot for that right now. Okay, so I just turned it on the slow cook function so that I can eat and clean up a little bit and then I'll take it out and put it up when it cools off. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you try this recipe or if you've even had it before, um, please let me know in the comments. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Also, I have a big video coming up. Um, if you haven't saw the video of where my cousin turned his two car garage into a studio apartment for me and my kids. I will leave that linked in the description box below for you to check that out. And I have a big video coming up this coming week that is gonna be the final video from us getting moved in and getting settled and how we managed to live with four people in a studio apartment that used to be a garage. And I'm gonna show, I am gonna, I'm also gonna do a story time and I'm gonna show how we managed to use the small space. And I'm gonna be giving details on the apartment, um, price details for everything that he paid for and size, um, just all that good stuff, all of the construction part of it. And so please hit that notification bell so that you don't miss that. Thank you. Yeah.